Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I decided to go ahead and turn the camera on today because I plan on releasing a vlog every two weeks. I'm trying to stay consistent with that. So I figured I might as well turn the camera on now because I do have to go to Sephora <laughs> when I leave my house. So I figured I would try to take y'all in there. So why not get the camera started now? So I look made up um, because I did a video earlier. I filmed a video, but I just came upstairs to put on my pants because I had on my pajama pants. Um, but now that I'm getting ready to leave my house, I was finishing getting dressed and I'm getting ready to spray on my fragrance. So I figured I would show you guys my fragrance set up because I did have to change like a couple things. So let me turn y'all around. All right, so this is my current fragrance set up. It's in my closet that I share with my husband. I prefer to keep my fragrances in here because this is where I get dressed. It's just the most natural place for me to have them and they are protected from the light and all and I can still see my bottle. So even though I feel like it looks cluttered like this, um, I try to keep it as neat as possible, but I don't know. I just have so many fragrances, y'all. So <laughs> this is what we're looking like. This is the best I'm doing for now. <laughs> but what I changed is that top shelf there. It was not there before. I had like some other little things there that I wasn't really using. And my House of Siage collection, hopefully you guys can see it. But my House of Siage collection has grown because they've been sending me fragrances. And so I needed more space for them because previously they were here, like on this cup, cupcake stand where the Amouage fragrances are. And um, I ran out of space there. So moved them up there and I already had like extra risers that were the same because I bought them from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something so I always just buy extra so that I can have like matching set <laughs> so since I was moving those up there on the riser I went ahead and added the other two risers because those are three risers up there at the top shelf so I added the other uh two risers and just move some of my fragrances up so this is what we're looking like this is in my this is my entire collection except for um, some new fragrances that I recently hauled and have not put away, but it's just a few of those. So this is pretty much everything. And here's just kind of like a side view. This is my side of the closet. So this is pretty much everything. Show y'all everything. Anyway, I'm going to show you my fragrance of the day. So I know my closet is a bit of a mess and that's honestly just a reflection of how I've been feeling lately. Like I have been so completely uninspired to do pretty much anything lately. Um, it's been rough y'all. It has been rough. And I think I have finally decided that I, that I am going to go ahead and go back to therapy because I just feel like I'm just... I don't know. I've been having a lot of bad days. I shouldn't say bad because I'm sounding very dramatic, but I do feel like there is something I could do to help myself. <laughs> so I think I will go back to therapy. I've gone before, um, probably shortly after, I think it was shortly after I had my daughter. My son was recently diagnosed with autism and I was just having a hard time. I had a rough pregnancy with my daughter. So there was just a lot going on at that point in time. So I went before and then I kind of felt like I didn't need to go anymore. But I'm kind of feeling like I want to try again. Um, no major problems or anything. Just like my normal day-to-day -day stresses. There's a, lot with com there's a lot that comes with being a mom. But also being a special needs mom. So I just feel like... I need a person to talk to that doesn't know me or doesn't know my family and <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about my fragrance of the day. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing this today. This is Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum and I'm getting ready to apply this for the first time. Usually I spray my fragrance on right after a shower but because I did a fragrance video today, I didn't spray my fragrance on yet, but this smells like bubble gum. This is my first time wearing it, so I don't know how it dries down and everything, but as of right now, it smells like a juicy, fruity bubble gum smell. I love the smell of it. It's quite playful and fun. I don't expect it to last too long, but I'm just going to run like a couple errands and then pick up my kids, come back home, cook dinner or whatnot. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Also, I wanted to talk to y'all because I was thinking about doing an autism mom chat um where I can put out something for y'all to ask me questions and then I can just answer them in a video so let me know if that's something you'll be interested in I know a lot of you would not be <laughs> but I'm sure some of you all would be because I find that 
although autism is becoming more well known there's still a lot of unknown especially from people that don't really know anybody personally with autism and I know that just speaking to like people in my actual life <laughs> they have expressed that they don't really know what to say they don't really know how to deal with kids with autism they don't really get it <laughs> So, um, yeah, let me know if that's something y'all may be interested in and I could definitely do that. I could do it in, either in a vlog or I may do a separate video by itself. So, yeah, just let me know. Don't ask questions in this video because I'm not completely sure that I want to do it. But let me know in this video, like in the comments, if that's something you would be interested in seeing. Anyway, let me stop wasting time. I'm going to um, go ahead and get out of here and try to head to Sephora real quick. And then I have to go to Target and buy my own groceries because their fridges are full so I could not do a drive up like can y'all believe it <laughs> so anyway let me go ahead and go hopefully we'll pick the camera back up in Sephora figured I might as well share with y'all my super basic boring OOTD but <laughs> it's just a white shirt and some jeans y'all <laughs> my um blue converse and this is my Gucci Soho disco just happened to be the bag I was carrying the most fancy thing I have on are my earrings and they are from Anna Luisa they're old though I should turn y'all around so as I was saying, these are the most fun thing about my outfit, but they are old. They don't no longer make these, but I got them from Ana Luisa. I believe these were sent to me, I think. But yeah, um, I just washed my hair yesterday, so I feel like it looks so tiny. But yeah, this is what we looking like to go run my little quick errand. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up from Target. It's gonna be quick because the kids are home, so um, they're gonna be loud. But anyway, so first thing is this water. This is a sparkling water by the brand Alani. I've never tried this brand, but it's a pina colada flavor. Picked up some creamer. This is the vanilla one from Silk. It's an oat milk creamer. I've never tried that one. Got the kids some soap. Hello, what are you Okay, doing? got my iced coffee. Picked up the kids some toothpaste. I've never tried this brand, so hopefully they like it. Picked up this Downy Scent Boosters. This is my favorite one. And we have milk. I already showed that, Noah. Oh. <laughs> I picked up some cilantro lime rice. We're making taco bowls for dinner tonight where the kids are having, Chloe's having a taco and Noah's gonna have quesadilla. And we have milk. And okay. we have soap. Thank you. Um, and we have apple juice from okay. the store. We have a new cup for me. Okay, all right. Got some uh, black beans, Mexican cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, rice, uh, beef, picked up some uh, fruit snacks, had to get a new water bottle for Noah, picked up this uh, feminine wash for myself, and then I got two bottles of wine. First one is this LaMarca Prosecco, which I really like. And then the other one I've never tried before, but this is Francis Coppola. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Francis Coppola, and this is a Cabernet Black Label. So I'm excited to try this. I'm probably gonna have this tonight. We'll see. Anyway, that's my Target haul. I um, know I was gonna take y'all into Sephora with me, but I ended up not doing that. I mean, I went to Sephora, but I didn't take y'all in there with me, so I will show you that stuff. But first, I'm going to put all the stuff away and start on dinner. And then I'll come back, like, once dinner is cooking or either done and show you what I picked up from Sephora. Bye. See you guys. Bye. All right, so I'm back, and I got my Sephora bag. And I just want to apologize for all the junk in the background. This is the aftermath of filming. So I will definitely be cleaning up this room either tonight or tomorrow. But anyway, I wanted to quickly show y'all what I got from Sephora. Um, so the thing I went to Sephora for was just for a re-up. This was not like a fun shopping spree or anything. I mean, it was nice to go on Sephora, but I went to get some more of this particular product. This is the TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. And I went through a bottle of this. I really enjoyed it. So I decided to try it again. And then the other thing I went in there for was to re-up on my Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer, which I have like probably two more uses out of that. 
but um i decided to try a different product just because this um this product has been recommended to me well not to me directly but from keiko beauty nyc i'm sure y'all know who she is i'll link her channel though but she has talked about this product i think on a favorites video and i know she's talked about it on instagram and this is the inky list omega water cream and this is she said it's like a dupe for the belief aqua bomb i believe hopefully that's correct <laughs> but i know i've tried the belief aqua bomb i know i've tried one of the belief moisturizers and really liked it so i'm hoping this is the same one i think it is i know they have the aqua bomb and then they have like the aqua something else i don't know but a moisturizer so i picked this up just to try this is very inexpensive i think it's like 10 bucks um, but that's what it looks like let's let's go ahead and try it since i will be opening this soon anyway i just want to see the texture of it i guess i could have done that in store because they did have a tester but i was really trying to get in and get out because i wanted to make sure i had enough time to get my groceries so i just squeezed out a tiny bit there oh yeah this feels like a water gel cream which i really enjoy those types of moisturizers so i'm excited to use that and then while i was in that section i also picked up this this is the tranexamic acid serum and this i picked up because i have been looking at trying the faded faded is the brand it's like really popular but it's a spray that you can spray on your body to help um get rid of hyperpigmentation and one of the key ingredients in it is this and so i decided to just go ahead and try this on its own because the faded i don't know it gets mixed reviews and i've heard it has a really bad smell so i didn't really want to deal with that so we'll try this uh i'm not going to try this on camera right now hopefully it doesn't have a smell but i don't want to put this on my hands right now because i would need to wash my hands after trying this so yeah i will be trying this out on my body my legs specifically because y'all know i'm trying to get rid of my strawberry skin and this is definitely i think this is definitely helping the texture but i want something to help the color too on my legs so there's that and then i also know these were kind of like um impulse purchases kind of but <laughs> i picked up two of the gloss lip glosses these are from the sephora brand these are like ten dollars each but i picked them up i already like i already know i like the formula on these but i remember andrea renee was talking about one of these which is not the one i got so i don't know i don't know which one she was talking about now that i'm looking at the colors i got but anyway i picked these up <laughs> So this first shade is called Not Today, and this is like a creamy peach color. It does not have any shimmer. Let's swatch it. I did not swatch these in store either because, I don't know, I don't really like swatching the lip glosses in store. Why did I do it there? Silly girl. <laughs> Can y'all see that? <laughs> okay, that one's a weird swatch, but let's go ahead and put on the lips. I can't really see it except on my camera viewfinder so hopefully it looks good i think it looks like a kind of milky peach color that's kind of sheer i like it i think let's see oh yeah i like it it's pretty natural looking so i can wear this like all with everything so there's that one and the other shade i picked up is called yes honey and this one has a little bit of shimmer but it doesn't like too much and again, it is a peachy gloss. So let's swatch this one. Now this one looks a little lighter. So hopefully that works for me. That's it there. So it looks a little lighter, but when I kind of move it around, it seems to kind of sheer out. So I think that's still going to work for me. And the shimmers are not prominent. So this actually, when I saw it, I picked it up because I thought it looked similar to a Pat McGrath gloss that I love. Let's see if I have it here. Yes dare to bear they look kind of similar i guess dare to bear is a little bit pinker um then or a little bit more peach than this one but they look pretty similar let's watch them next to each other <laughs> oh yeah they are not the same <laughs> this is dare to bear right here and it's a lot more golden than um than the sephora gloss collection so 
Oh well, thought I caught Crane across the dupe. Cause I think Dare to Bear is discontinued. I know Pat McGrath has discontinued a lot of shades in these glosses, but I need to check cause I love this gloss. I wear it quite often. But anyway, yeah, I picked up these two. Um, so yeah, that's my Sephora haul. I'm not sure that I'll be back tonight, but I will see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. So just dropped the kids off at summer camp and today I'm going to go for a walk, but I decided to go to a different neighborhood, which I do that sometimes just to get like a change of scenery. I typically walk in neighborhoods because all the trails are not on my way home from dropping the kids off. <laughs> And I don't like to go like the opposite direction. So, um, yeah, I typically will stop in like a different neighborhood that I'm familiar with or, you know, um, and walk there. So I stopped in this neighborhood today and I haven't walked over here in a while. There was actually a point we were thinking about buying a house over here um, a while ago. We were thinking about downsizing our house, but we didn't do it. <laughs> obviously we're still in the same house but yeah so let me stop procrastinating got my little fanny pack my headphones yeah. okay got my headphones so I'm gonna go for a walk I usually do about a 30 minute walk um so yeah that's what we're gonna do I was trying to think of a neighborhood I can go to that had like a lot of shaded area because I feel like it's really really hot already today um let's see yeah, it only says that it's 81 degrees right now, but I swear it feels hotter than that. So, anyway. outside but while I was walking I saw this little trail the neighborhood has grown up a lot so I walked in an area that I had never been before so at one point I was like mm, I hope I didn't take like the super long way <laughs> I was like this 30 minute uh walk may turn into an hour but thankfully it didn't it came out where I thought it would but yeah I saw this little trail that I kind of wanted to walk it was within the neighborhood and they had a sign about a nature trail or whatnot but it was very shaded and all and very woody and so i was scared to walk it honestly so i may maybe one day i'll see if my husband wants to come over here with me and we'll walk it because i'm not walking it by myself <laughs> but i would like to see what's down there so anyway that's it i'm gonna go home take a shower i gotta film some videos and i have an appointment later on today um so i'll see y'all later y'all guess what it is later in the day. I have filmed a couple of videos, eaten lunch, and I'm getting ready to go um, put on some pants so I can go to my appointment. But I was uh, putting away my fragrances that I filmed, that I used for the video. And when I was putting one of the fragrances away, it snagged on something on my shirt. I looked down, it was this freaking sticker, a medium sticker on my shirt. <laughs> that must have been on the entire time I filmed the video. <laughs> So yeah, guess what though? That video is not getting refilmed. I'm hoping that it fades in because this shirt kind of has graffiti on it. And then the shirt, the size that I have is medium. So I'm hoping that it, it does show that it'll just look like it's part of the MTV sign on my shirt. <laughs> I couldn't believe I did that y'all. I'm one of those people that walk out and have uh, stickers on my jeans and whatnot. <laughs> but anyway, um, that doesn't happen too often, but it's happened before. I was just say that. Anyway, I'm getting ready to apply my fragrance for the day. So I figured I would share that with y'all too. All right, so the fragrance I'm wearing is this one from Electimus. This is Imperium. And I actually won this in a giveaway from AI the Great and So Avant Garde. Um, I actually have a video all about this, so I'll link it for you all if you're interested. But I don't wear it that much, but I do like it. So we're gonna wear it today. It's a citrusy vanilla. Um, God. Ugh. To me, it got in my mouth. <laughs> to me, um, the vanilla 
I, I wanted the vanilla to be more prominent when I got it. It was during the colder weather. So I wanted the vanilla to be more prominent. But now that it's hot, I'm thinking this is going to work out better. Because to me, the citrus is way more prominent in this fragrance. And honestly, I thought this fragrance leans slightly masculine. But sometimes when I smell it, it doesn't. But I think it leans slightly masculine to me in the winter. So I'm kind of trying it out today to see how it's going to work today. Because... It's just initially that I think it leans slightly masculine with the citrus notes. So for some reason, the way the citrus is just gives me like man cologne vibes. <laughs> but um, I'm wearing it today. It's not too much. When I say it's slightly masculine, I mean like a very slightly, very slightly. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. And I'm hoping that it's going to do really well in this high heat. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. Alright, sorry about that. What are you ready? No problem. I'm actually here to pick up two different mobile orders for Aisha with an two A. Mobile orders? Mm-hmm. Alright, anything else? No, that's it. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to this video. Me, me, me and mommy are in Volkswagen Atlas and we're fun to meet you and I get in croissant. What are you getting, Mommy? I'm getting um, a shake and espresso, and I got something for Daddy, too. Uh, hello, guys. After Starbucks, we're going to... After... We will go home, and... There is no school tomorrow. It... Um, Tomorrow is Saturday. Hope you have fun. Bye bye. <laughs> we got a little vlogger in the works, y'all. A little vlogger in the works. <laughs> but yeah, Noah just told you what we're doing, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> no warming it up. Thank you. How you, doing? you too. Got it? Grab it. Okay, so I am back. I dropped Noah off at therapy. This is his second therapy of the day. On Fridays, he has speech for like 30 minutes. And then there we have like a little bit, like 30 minutes in between time. But then after that, he has his ABA therapy. So I just dropped him off there. Um, we got our Starbucks. Noah killed his croissant as per usual. And I'm almost done with my drink. I got a ice brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. But this time I had them add whipped cream to it because I wanted it a little bit sweeter. And it's actually pretty good. And I've had it with cold foam added to it before and I like that as well. But cold foam costs like $1.50 or $1.75 or something like that to add. So I don't know how I'm going to keep doing that because I'm tired of paying $7, $8 for a drink from Starbucks. Like who am I to be spending that much on a drink all the time? But anyway... Um, sometimes I go home most of the times I go home when I drop him off to ABA therapy because now that it's summertime he goes longer so I have time to go home but today I'm gonna actually meet my friend for happy hour so I have like 45 minutes away so we're meeting at the mall at like our favorite spot <laughs> Um, there is a restaurant out here. So I decided to stop by Dillard's first. I haven't been to Dillard's in ages, but I want to go like put my nose on a couple of perfumes that like Sephora doesn't have. Um, so I want to go put my nose on a couple perfumes. I'm not buying anything. I'm on a no buy, but I wanted to do that. And I also wanted to look in their shoe section. And I remember I used to be able to find like some good costume earrings here. And I kind of feel like I need some more earrings. I'm kind of... I don't know I'm kind of at a um, place where I feel like my earring game can step up a little bit I like wearing like my gold hoops like pretty much every day but sometimes I want to wear something a little bit more fun and I feel like I've gotten rid of or lost or whatever a lot of my fun earrings so yeah anyway that's what I'm getting, getting ready to do so I probably won't take y'all in there with me we'll see but more than likely I won't take y'all in there with me because I'm gonna leave my camera in the car um, because I have my I'm carrying this bag today because I have my laptop I was working on editing a video when he was in his other therapy but I don't feel like carrying this inside Dillard so I think I'm just gonna take this case out which has like my keys and stuff like that in it 
and so my camera won't fit in there but if I do vlog something it'll be on my phone so that whole long three minute spill was literally for nothing guys literally for nothing I didn't need to say any of that so I'll see y'all <laughs> So I ended up buying some of the shoes that I showed y'all. Uh, I just, I think I tried to film a little bit on my camera. <laughs> Hopefully it made it. <laughs> but I ended up buying some of the shoes. I bought the Vince Camuto ones, which are the ones that I were kinda, was kind of on the fence about. Um, these, I think they're cute. They're black. They have these like chain detail that's gold and silver. And they felt pretty comfortable on the foot. They look good on the foot. Um, so I bought those those were on sale for $66 and then I really really like these Gianna Beanie shoes and so they didn't have the color in my size that I really wanted um, but I also really wanted this pair which is this color hopefully y'all can see them I love these shoes they felt so comfortable when I tried them on so I ended up getting this color I was this was the first color that caught my eye honestly but I was like do I really need any tan shoes but I like the fact that these are fabric it gives them a very casual vibe and I think it'll look good with anything ivory white you know pretty much anything they're a neutral and they're so comfortable so I ended up getting these and then the lady in the store ordered the pink multicolor ones for me so hopefully they come in within the next couple of days because I would like to have them by next weekend. <laughs> so we shall see. But um, if not, then I'll get them when I get them. But I thought these were so cute. And they were on sale for $53.99. So I got, like I said, I got this pair. And then I got the pink multicolor pair that I really loved. And y'all know, it's getting, I feel like it's almost the end of the summer already. But in Florida, we can wear sandals pretty much through November so I'm not concerned yeah so that's that the ones that the clear shoes that I showed y'all I really like those but they were ran so small I normally wear a nine I tried them on in a nine and a half and a ten and both felt like my toes were too cramped um, I guess because they're cut so narrow at the pointed toe and because they are clear like you don't want your feet to look all crammed up in there and also I want my feet to be comfortable so I didn't get those so anyway about to go in here and meet up with my friends so I'll see y'all in a bit because I already had a big um I had a big salad thank you all right, so I'm at my favorite little spot with my friend Ashley, and we're at Cantina Loretto, it's a Mexican restaurant by our house, and like they have good margaritas, very easy, and we always come here, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna hang out with her, I'll check in with y'all later.